Lewis Structure and Balance Electrons. Lewis Structure. Dot Structure for the electrons in the last shell of energy. Balance Electrons. The electrons are the most reactive for chemical reactions. In balance electrons, we can see them in different ways. One way is making the electronic configuration by only seeing the last shell of energy that is the orbital. In this case, two. And two will be our balance electrons. Another way to see them is in the periodic table. For example, magnesium is in group two. So group, the number of group equals the number of balance electrons. And now we're going to talk about the Lewis structure. To use the Lewis structure, we need to, to get an element, any element. So for example, in here, in this, as an example, we're going to use magnesium. So it's Mg. And uh, we need to find the number of electrons. The number of electrons, as, as Armando said, it corresponds to a group. So magnesium is in group number two, so it has two electrons. And you know, the electrons are represented as dots as closed dots. So you need to write one dot in clockwise direction. So just start by, by writing a, a dot in here and a dot in here and like that you write a, a little structure. And you can use also the little structure with with charges. So for example the charge depends on in which group um, the electron is. So in this case uh, I mean the, the, the element is so in this in this case magnesium is in group number two and it has a charge of plus two so when it has charge it is represented by open dots so it will be an open dot and an open dot so in this case it has a charge of plus two to make another example with oxygen in this case we'll see most easily the number of electrons we're going to see the periodic table so we conclude that oxygen is in group number six, so we have six balance electrons. So six. So we're going to use the Lewis structure with the balance electrons, so it has six. So you write it clockwise. One, two, three. But in this case, it has a negative charge, so we do not represent it with open dots. In this case, the negative charge is of negative 2. So, here we add two x's. We add two x's, like this, and it represents the negative charge.